Hello friends, welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Smita Katti, I blog at smilingcolors.com. You can also find me as The Shininess on Instagram. In today's video, I'll be lettering with some Tombow Furunosuke pens. This is a smaller brush pen, one of my favorite brush pens to use initially when I was learning hand lettering. You can get these in two kinds of tips, a hard tip and a soft tip, and I love the black color that it comes in. In the beginning, I used to use the hard tip, the Furunosuke hard tip, more while lettering because it was much more easier for me to get a control over. You want to get those thick down strokes in brush lettering and the really thin upper strokes. So I used to practice a lot with the Furunosuke hard tip and after a while I got very comfortable with it. Now recently Tombow came out with the 10 color pack which is so beautiful. I love the pink, the orange and the red colors in it and I've been using them more and more to do my lettering. It's the same exact brush pen, it's the hard tip brush pen, same smaller brush size but in beautiful colors. How fun is that right? Here I'm just lettering some simple quotes. I like to put them on small pieces of cardstock and tack them on the wall because when winter comes and it's kind of cold outside, it's fun to have something pretty on the wall to inspire you and motivate you in the morning. Here I'm first using the Tombow Dual Brush Pen and this is a larger brush pen. So in this small video clip you can see the nice contrast that you get between the smaller brush pen and a larger brush pen. Both are almost the same black in color and I like to use both of these pens together to give a nice contrast in size. Here's another example and this one I'm using the Tombow Furunosuke but this time this is the soft tip. So the soft tip gives much thicker down strokes and once you get used to using this brush pen you will enjoy using the soft tip more and more. So that's it today friends, I just wanted to show you this quick compilation of Furunosuke brush lettering that I've done. I will leave a list of all the supplies I've used down below in the description box. For more videos, make sure to click on any of these boxes that pop up right now. Happy crafting!